finish this year in the street stops. Congratulations, Nate. Our second place finisher this year was Mr. Michael Mullins. And our track champion this year in the street stock division, we like to call him Ziggy, a seven-time feature race winner, Brian Ziegler. Central Missouri Speedway. In the 10th spot was Chris Brockway out of Warrensburg. Mr. Stephen Neal.
In the fourth position, it was Lucas Isaacs. Tell you what, keep an eye on some of these young drivers. I tell you what, they've done a great job. Three feature wins this year. His older brother, Ethan Isaacs, in the third position. Ethan Isaacs. <laughs> Had a great year this year in the number second spot, Jason Billups. Go, Jason. Then out of 18 features this year, 11 features win, 11 feature wins for Mr. Jacob Ebert. Your P modified track champion at Central Missouri Speedway. Over to you, John. Get some photos here. Again, congratulations to the B Modified class at Central Missouri Speedway. Hey, Alan. <laughs> and as they make their way over to the photo area, we'll move on to Lakeside Speedway on the 2011 Factory Stop Time. In the fifth spot is Justin Jr. Fourth will be Brett Heater. Third is Marshall Julian. Second is Jay Barnes.
top 10 in the IMCA modifieds. This first guy won opening night. Then he won either the second or third night, the night that Jordan Grabowski was there. And he ended up beating Jordan Grabowski. Tenth place, Mr. Todd Wilson. Finishing third, Mr. Bud Wilson. Finishing second, ended up tying the points, Mr. Rick Spriggs. And your 2011 track champion for the IMCA Modifieds, Corey Ray.
Just ahead of him, his brother Steve Clancy, who finished fifth this year overall at CMS and fourth in the ULMA Championship race. Our next driver is a former two-time track champion at Central Missouri Speedway. He is Mr. John Benning. John also finished ninth overall in ULMA this year. Another two-time track champion in third position at CMS, Mr. Kevin the Kid Coyne. Kevin finishing seventh overall in our ULMA championship this year. Finishing in the runner-up position this year, and this guy put a new terminology on. Keep an eye on him in terms <laughs> three and four. The action driver of the year, Mr. Brett Woodywood, in second place. Brett finished fifth overall in ULMA this year. And our track champion, now a two-time track champion, a four-time feature race winner. He finished third overall in ULMA and picked up his second CMS track championship, Bodie Jason Bodenhammer. Central Missouri Speedway had six of the overall ULMA top ten this year. Congratulations, gentlemen. Well representation. Okay, we'll move on to the Central Missouri Speedway Mighty Modified class. Thanks for coming, Jason. Another young driver in that modified class, James Eaton. Congratulations. In the fifth position, you know this driver, Mr. Tim Carrick. Tim Carrick ended up with five feature wins. Interesting, he started winning about halfway through the season. He picked up those feature wins in July, August, September. In the fourth position, Jason Thompson. Don't believe uh, Jason is up north uh, working some construction work. In the third position, the Ford Power, number 70, Aaron Morant. He's so Taking home another trophy tonight, Mr. Jason Boltenhammer. Jason won two features win this year. Interesting, Jason, he won the first modified feature and the very last modified feature at Central Missouri Speedway. So congratulations to Jason. Also a feature win with the Hog Rose Nationals. The flying wing. <laughs> Glad you could be here, Jason. And his first modified championship at Central Missouri Speedway, Mr. Terry. Terry, the true gentleman, talked with him before. He had also won some street stock features and championships at Central Missouri Speedway. Two-time champion over LA Raceway as well. So congratulations to the 90 car, Terry Schultz. Well, that takes care of the track awards. But before we turn it over to JD, Bob Raver, please come forward. Mom came to me tonight and said, hey Sam, before you turn it back over to JD, we got to do uh, one more presentation. So JD, you do want to know about this. In appreciation, this award is presented to JD Green. Thank you for your dedication and service of S President of CAR from 2003 to 2011. Congratulations, JD.
first and most, it's been a great nine years of doing this. Uh, I'll never forget the first year that I had to get up here and actually do this, and Paige Olson told me I look like a, well, there are some young people here, but I look like a whore in church. <laughs> and I probably did. And after all, all the friends at all the racetracks, I gotta tell you, we got the greatest sport in the world, but we're not done. I may not be president anymore, but we're not done. What we're going to do next is we're going to talk about what we talked about last year. Last year, we set out a goal of developing a Hall of Fame museum. In 2004, we developed a Hall of Fame. And if you are a member of our CARB Hall of Fame, I ask you at this time to please stand. If you are related to a Hall of Fame member, please stand. Larry Castro is one of our originals, so please stand. No, I won't draw. Let's let one of you guys draw. I'll spin. Hey, Gail, what was the total on that just for tonight, please? Cutting in from us. Sure, go ahead. Our total just tonight, folks, we want to thank everyone here. Uh, tonight alone, we got $3,500. Say thanks to all my old buddies here, the old Bear crew, uh, all the guys who built this car. I mean, Bear and Jay, we're all broke down. You know, half of us can't even walk with five feet. And uh, but if we had a good time doing this, and uh, it's all for you all, not for us, for you all. There are a lot of drivers out there that's going to like their name in that Hall of Fame. And uh, I don't know, I, Lo, Marla. Marlon's got a hard to go in the wallet full of money. And uh, so we got to thank them. And I'm going to let Bear say, I can talk all night, but I'll let Bear have it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I know everybody ready to party, so I just want to, I got a thank you list. I want to give a shout out real quick. Donnie Billings, um, Don Johnson, uh, Vince Schoenberger, Bob Smith, these are the guys that put the time in on the car. Motorsports of Kansas City. Kenny Price, he's the guy that built the motor for this car. Um, Blake and Jim Peeler and Shocker Chassis, thank you guys. Um, Bobby Heater. Lakeside Speedway, I-35 Speedway, Central Missouri Speedway, Valley Speedway, and Harlow Park, Topeka. Thank you all. And uh, AAA Transmission, the Dot Barber Shop, Fast Lane Engines, Buzz's Mufflers, Buzz and Becky, Casker, Mike and, Mike and Tom Johnson, and uh, Junior Lowry. And man, if I'm forgetting somebody, I'm sorry. But anyway, thank you everybody that bought tickets. We really appreciate it. All right, every one of these people up here behind me are responsible for this. We need to say thank you. That car has brought to our Hall of Fame Museum $9,560. Good job, guys. Very good job. Oh. The party already started up here tonight. All right, without further ado, shall we draw the winning ticket? Yes. Yeah. Woo! Draw that ticket. Draw that ticket. <laughs> I actually won't. <laughs> Just kidding. From James Port, Missouri, Corey Ray.
start that damn thing up? <laughs> <laughs> They can start at once, right? You're the hey, wait a minute, Donnie. You gotta ask the car owner. No, we're not blowing it up. Uh -huh. We bought the ticket tonight. What do you think? I'm just excited that I won. <laughs> Again, we're going to have a museum. Thank the Christie's. Thank the Billings. Thank everybody that made this happen. And everybody, let's work together because we can't have a museum and our sport still is number one. Thank you. Here in a little bit, Rodney will start off with our, uh, with our dance.